Hi guys, it's Raquel and I'm gonna cook today. I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> um, I have some mashed potato that I'm gonna make and some scallops from Trader Joe. So, this is pricey. I was really shocked to see that, well I mean, it, come on, it is scallop and scallop is pricey, but you know, you get this amount, <laughs> which is not too, too bad. And it's $18 from Trader Joe. So I'm gonna fry some of this up with some garlic and mashed potato. So I'll just show you guys what I'm doing. I have salt in the pot. I'll just cover it and let it stay for 20 minutes or so and the potato is also from Trader Joe and I got the golden yolkin or something like that in the brown bag <laughs> that was my first time seeing it in the brown bag and no normally this potato this type of potato when I get it from Publix it usually cook really fast the the golden um, potato so I'm sure this is gonna cook in like 20 minutes or so so we're gonna cover it and just let it cook, put the stove on medium. So I'm gonna use fresh garlic and I also have garlic powder. So these are the seasoning that I'm gonna put with, um, you know, the scallop. So I have Spice Island onion powder, Mrs. Dash onion and herb, and some pink salt. So, so I'm just gonna peel my garlic. I do like garlic, so I'm going to put a good amount in there <laughs> with all the garlic powder and everything else. I do like a lot of fresh garlic. Put a little bit of grapeseed oil in the pot for the scallop and just, you know, get it started. Not too, too much. I'm gonna put my garlic in the pot and let that get, you know, going. Mm, I think I look, look like I need a little bit more garlic. I actually like a lot of garlic, so I'll cut up a little bit more in a, in a little bit. So there's, after it's, you know, defrost and everything, there's water in there. So I'm gonna pour some of the water off and I'm gonna put the scallop in some um, paper towel because you don't want it wet. So I'm just gonna pat it a little bit. So this is what they look like. They're a good, it's a good size. It's not small. As I said, it's pricey. You don't get a whole lot in there, but that's okay. <laughs> so I just wanna pat it a little bit. And then I'm gonna put it in the pot and then I'm gonna season it while it's while it's in the pot. I'm gonna turn up my stove a little bit. So I'm gonna add my onion powder to it. Some Mrs. Dash onion and herb. A little bit of um pink salt that part. So they're so tiny so you don't want to overdo it. Garlic powder. So when I flip them over I'll basically do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to turn it real quick. So this is what they look like. I know this is small. <laughs> I do have a bigger one but I'm just going to be using this one. So this is what they look like when they start cooking. So this is what they look like when they're getting there. They, they don't need to be in the pot for that long. 
you know, just don't burn them. <laughs> but this is what it looked like when it's going. So we're just gonna let it stay in there. And this is not all like that came in the package. I'm gonna, you know, cook the rest. I just didn't want to overcrowd the pot. But I'm gonna cook the rest in a little bit. You only need to cook them two to three minutes on each side. So I think these are ready. And then you could just stick them with your fork too and then you could definitely tell that they're ready. The fork just went right through it. So these are definitely ready. So these are the rest of them that I'm gonna put in there. So you get a good amount in there. So now that the potato is finished boiling, I did add a little bit of butter to it. I'm gonna add some milk, just straight from the box. <laughs> Nothing fancy. A little bit of seasoning salt, the one that I usually use from Aldi's, just to add a little bit of flavor to the, um, the mashed potato. And then I'm just gonna start mashing. So now that the potato is done and the scallop is finished, I'm just gonna layer some on top. It didn't take long to make this at all. It was, they said two to three minutes on each side. I would say probably four minutes, like probably three to four minutes on each side. Cause it was a little bit you know um still a little bit chewy with a two to three minutes so i would recommend three to four minutes so i'm gonna taste it to see what it really tastes like um hopefully the kids and elvin will like it so the mashed potato is fine because this is how i make my mashed potato all the time but this is a little bit new for us Good. I like it. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching. It's good. I'll devour it when we finish with the, the whole subscribe and all of that so you guys please subscribe to the channel if you like what you see I, I when i said we appreciate it we appreciate it thumbs up the video also and give us a little feedback of what you think about this video and we'll see you in the next one thank you guys bye